Everyone knew Wanda Jo Taylor preferred jeans over dresses. They just didn't know why. Boys was rough and tough like myself, and the girls was dainty and pretty. And you know, and I was attracted to them, and I, and I knew that at a young age. Her mother, Opal, thought her youngest child was going through a phase. I knew she was a tomboy, but that's everybody said, just leave her alone. She'll grow out of it. But Wanda couldn't change what she was feeling. Back then, you know, I was like, I feel like a boy trapped in a girl's body, and I didn't understand me. Wanda Jo embraced her identity as a boy and started having sexual contact with other girls. She managed to keep it a secret until at 18, she got caught with a neighbor girl. I came out to tell the whole world I was gay and I was proud. And I lived my life the way I wanted to live my life. I couldn't live my life with my mother, nobody. I did what I what wanted to I did my will, what I wanted to do. It hurt. I cried every day. After high school, Wanda Jo landed a good paying job as a computer programmer and dove into the homosexual lifestyle. I went to clubs, gay clubs, gay parts, gay parades. I did it all. I walked into a topless club, looking like a man, dressed like a man, smelling like a man. I prayed all the time, hoping that she would change. But she went through so many women. For the next 30 years, Wanda Jo pursued many women and had a few serious relationships. But they were chaotic, at times violent. You, you're fighting and no trust, the jealousy, the envy, the drama that's in that lifestyle that I was in. None of them gave Wanda Jo what she really wanted. I was searching for love in all the wrong places. That's what I was searching for. The one thing Wanda Jo never indulged in was drugs and alcohol. But when she nearly died after one of her lovers stabbed her, she found crack cocaine eased the physical and emotional pain. I was just tired. I was so tired, I didn't know what to do, you know? For two and a half years, she lived at the mercy of a crack cocaine addiction and dropped down to a mere 98 pounds. Finally, Wanda Jo remembered something she learned in church as a child, that in times of despair, she could always call on God. Next thing you know, I was so broken. My God, I was broken. I was tired of so much of just everything. I went home and got on my knees and I cried out to God. And I said, God, take this away from me. Jesus, help me. And when he did, he did a snap of a finger, blink of an eye. Wanda Jo says her desire for cocaine was completely gone. And that deliverance by God fueled a hunger to return to church. She found one that accepted her just as she was. Never forget a day I was in the church. I had been going there maybe in my men's suits. They loved me. See, they let me come in the church broken, lost as the, the center that I was. I was like, wow, they was treating me with the, so much love. And, and now he's talking the truth, the word. And now I'm getting this word in my heart. Wanda Jo continued going to church and reading the Bible. For the first time, after 30 years living as a man, she discovered her true identity. I opened up my Bible to the scripture that he gave me, and the scripture was Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. And it says, remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. God said, behold, I do a new thing, and a new thing shall spring forward, shall ye not know. I make a road in the wilderness and a river in the desert. But I read it the third time. And when I read it the third time, he said, remember not the former things, all the gay stuff and all that. He was right there and at the time. Neither consider the things of old, the drug on drugs and crack and all that, and whole mongering, fornicating, committing adultery, lying, cheating. Right at that moment, her mother called. Wanda Jo told her everything God had showed her in the scriptures. Who are you then? My mama heard for 30 years I was gay, I was butch, and I was a stud. She said, Wanda Jo, 12 o'clock midnight, who are you then, Wanda Jo? I said, oh, Wanda Jo is gone. 
I'm the new Wanda Joe. He scared myself. I said, woo! Wanda Joe gave her life to Jesus Christ that night in 2007. And when people see me now, they be like, they know they're looking at a miracle. I said, I'm just like Jesus, his first miracle, turning water into wine. The old Wanda Joe was the water, uh, the new Wanda Joe was the wine. And I said, I'm a miracle, hallelujah. I said, I'm a miracle to myself. He took that desire away. I don't desire women no more. He took that desire away. Today, she works in full-time ministry, sharing God's truth and love to people she meets in Dallas, Texas. I have a true and a personal relationship with God. And now, so that's why I was searching for love in all the wrong places all the time. It was Jesus who I was searching for.